We favored the Virginia plan in which representation in Congress is based on population. States with more people should have more representatives in Congress. We support the New Jersey plan. All states should have the same number of representatives in Congress. They combined the two plans into one, which made the Senate and the House of Representatives. When a census account of people, the people is taken to determine how many representatives each state gets in Congress, slaves should be included in the total. Limits should be placed on the number of slaves being brought into the United States. The three-fifths compromise would be three out of five slaves would be counted into the total population. Congress should not be able to stop us from importing slaves to work on our plantations. Limits should be placed on the number of slaves being brought into the United States. Slave, slave trade, trade compromise! <laughs> slave trade ended in 1808. Congress should not be able to tax imports and exports. If imports are taxed, we will have to pay higher prices for foreign goods. If exports are taxed, it will be harder for us to sell products in, to foreign countries. Congress should tax imports so that foreign countries won't be cheaper than American-made manufacturing products. Commerce compromise placed taxes on foreign goods, but not on American goods. With that means they messed up. The less informed common man cannot be trusted to choose capable leaders. Voters should elect a small number of well-educated leading citizens to be electors, who will then choose the president and members of Congress. We oppose a rich man's government. The president and members of Congress should all be directly elected by the voters. And thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed. This would be the creation of the Electors College. So now citizens can now vote for whoever they want to be in office.